Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about clearing decimals from linear equations. So we're going to be looking at problems that look like this or, or similar. So if you've never tried my videos before, I highly recommend you pause and try the examples when prompted. Also there are free guided notes available at DividingConquerMath.com. And I think it's easiest just to explain this with examples, so I'm just going to jump right into an example. So um, decimals, people have feelings on decimals. and it's actually like if you don't like working with them, there's a really easy hack for kind of dealing with them. So the the easiest way is you you essentially multiply by different factors of 10 or 100 or 1000. But the actual like easier way to think about that is in terms of the decimal. So here's what you're going to do. First, you want to note the maximum amount of decimal spots used in the problem. So in this case, as I look through this, this is two spots, two spots, two spots. So the maximum number would be two. Okay, now the next thing would be to move all decimals that many spots to the right. So in this case, here's my decimal right here. So I need to move it one, two spots. Moving on to this one, one, two spots, and then this one, one, two spots. So really what we're doing here is we're multiplying by 100, but like we can really just think about this as playing with the decimal. So now let's write what, what problem we are left with. So I cleared out everything and now I'm left with 3x plus 4 equals 19. And so now that's actually what you can solve and you can just move ahead with this. So now I can subtract 4 and then I'm left with 3x equals 15, divide both sides by 3, you'll get x equals 5. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to worry about any other decimal spots. As long as you do the same thing to everything in the problem, that is an application of the multiplication principle. So that's, that's it. So I have another problem here where we can try this out again. So you can do this alongside me if you want. And so you'll notice like, you, you might look at this and say, oh, I'll just combine like the 0.05 minus the 0.03, but just for the purpose of this exercise, let's not do that. So sometimes you might, you might opt to, to make some manipulations and that's, that's totally fine if you want to do that, but just for the purpose of practicing. So first just look across the entire problem. So 0.05x plus 0.1 minus 0.03x equals 0.08. What is the maximum number of decimal spots? So once again, it's two. So then maybe you want to pause the video for a second and move all the decimal spots over two to the right and then hit play when you're ready. So let's see, I'm moving this two to the right. I'm moving this two to the right. Notice there's an empty spot. This two to the right and then this two to the right. So what am I left with? I'm left with uh, oops, 5x plus, so this has this empty spot, so what goes there? It goes, a, a zero will go in that empty spot. So 5x plus 10 minus 3x equals 8. And so now I just solve as usual. So this becomes 2x plus 10, oops, uh, yeah, 2x plus 10 equals 8. And then I can subtract off the 10 to get 2x equals negative 2. And divide both sides by 2 to get x equals negative 1. So that's kind of the idea. All right, so now let's, let's change up the problem type slightly. And if you've watched my video on fractions, you're, you're probably not surprised with the, the next type that's going to come up. All right, so now notice how this is different from the last ones. So I've put parentheses in this problem. And so I just want to show you how that's going to change things up. So I've got 0 0.4 times x plus 2 minus 0 0.3 times 2x plus 1 equals 0 0.09. And... It's the same idea. So still, what is the maximum number of decimal spots? So this is one, this is one, this is two, so it's two. And so if you if you watch my video on fractions, kind of the idea is you only have to do this to one part of the problem, move the decimal on one part or term. And uh, how can you tell the parts of the different terms? So it's really what's separated by the plus or minus sign or the equal sign. So these are kind of the only parts of this problem. And so you only have to do this once to each part. So you're just going to do it to the part in the front. And so I'm going to move all of these decimals two spots over like so to get 40 times x plus 2 minus 30 times 2x plus 1 equals 9. 
And now I can solve it like usual. So this is going to be, I have to distribute first, so I've got to take 40x plus 80 minus 60x minus 30, and that equals 9. And then I can collect my like terms to get negative 20x plus 50 equals 9. And then I can subtract off the 50, so I get negative 20x equals, this will be negative 41, and then this one will just kind of be a, a fractional answer, which is fine. So this is going to be um, ultimately 41 over 20, and I can't actually reduce that any farther. But that's the idea behind this. So I have one more. If you want to do it alongside of me, you can uh, play along here. So if you want to go ahead and just try to move the decimals on your own and then hit play when you're ready, go for it. So once again, the maximum number, number of spots here will be two. So I'm going to move all of these over two spots like this. So this will become 10x plus 3 times 4 minus 2x equals 50 times x plus 3. So now I've got to distribute here and here. So I'll go ahead and do that. So this is 10x plus 12 minus 6x equals 50x plus 150. Now I can collect my like terms. So this is going to be, so 10x minus 6x is 4x. So this is 4x plus 12 equals 50x plus 150. So I want to get all the x's to one side and all the numbers to another. So I'll go ahead and I'll subtract off the 50x here. So this is going to give me negative 46x plus 12, and then this equals 150, and then I'll subtract off the 12. So now I get negative 46x equals 138, and then I will divide both sides by negative 46, and that will equal just negative 3, and so that's it for that one. So I have more example videos. If you want to see more with that, you're, you're definitely welcome to check those out. But that'll do it for this particular video. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.